On to politics. In the wake of the Senate stalemate in Albany, some big pay hikes are in store apparently for high paid staffers. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg is live in our newsroom with the latest on that. Rich. Well, Victoria, the uh, Albany Times Union had some interesting numbers out this morning, and we confirmed them. Some of the hikes and salaries are eye openers. For example, two deputy secretaries for the Senate majority, the Democrats, got two raises totaling $55,000 each, bringing their salaries to more than $140,000 a year. But top Topping the list is Mortimer Lawrence, top aide to Malcolm Smith, who is now president of the Senate. Mortimer Lawrence got a $16,000 raise and is now making, as an aide, more than $177,000. I talked to a spokesman from the State Comptroller's Office this morning. Mortimer Lawrence, the top aide to Malcolm Smith, looks like he's making $177,000 a year. How much does the governor make? The governor makes $179,000 a year. That's set in statute. Is there any red flag here that uh, an aide in the Senate is making two thousand dollars less than the governor of the state of New York? Yeah, again, that's a, you know that's really a, the the Senate's prerogative. They determine how much their staff is worth. I called the offices of the two Western New York Democratic senators for a comment this morning. Senator Antoine Thompson said he was too busy with district business to do an interview. Senator Bill Stakowski said he wasn't familiar with the staff salaries and was not interested in commenting. I'll have more coming up on News 4 at 5 and 6. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rich Newberg, News 4 at noon.